Hello and welcome to episode 4 of Fireworks in the Real World. Okay, so I'm going to be doing some more on the wireframe I started last week um, and building it up into a little bit more of um, a fully uh, fledged wireframe of the entire pet shop site. So I've kind of gone ahead and created a few more pages just to save time. So I've got a few more things on the home page. I've added a banner and I've added a footer. I've got a landing page for the animal section, for the accessories section, for the food section. I've also got a, a start of a product listing page and a product detail page. And I put in some breadcrumbs for for good measure. Now one thing, you, but this is the page view, so it shows us all of our pages. It would be really nice if you could um, indent, you know, stack them up because these two pages are inside that section. Unfortunately, you can't do that. It would be very nice if you could. Maybe next version, Adobe, please. Unless I've missed something, I've never been able to do it. So the first thing I'm going to do, carrying on with this, is um, first of all deal with my new footer. It's currently just. Um, bunch of objects on my home page so I'm going to select all of those and then I'm going to convert that into a symbol it's just a graphic symbol now that then will be put into my um, becomes a symbol in the document library so everything we've added so far to the page has been put into here including all of that stuff I dumped in there last week so let's just get rid of those so there's a little menu up here just allows you to manage your library of items. So I don't want the Windows 7 elements. Uh, I don't want the discuss comments. Let's just delete those. Okay, so there's some of the objects we've created so far. Header, footer. Um, I put some features into um, a library item as well because I want those on every single page at the, at the bottom not actually part of the footer but a kind of element that could be added on most pages but maybe not all like the footer okay so now I've got that in the library I'm just going to cop simply copy and paste it you can drag it out of the library I just find it easier to copy and paste it now unlike um, master template pages allow you to create um, objects in the same position on every page but of course a footer appears somewhere different on every page depending on how much information is on the page so I, I always end up using a symbol for the footer so there we go it's now on every single page at the bottom where you'd expect the footer to be um, and because it's a symbol as we saw before if Pete decides he doesn't want his personal name in his email address anymore and we just change it we only have to do it once and it changes on every page making life a lot easier okay so next thing I want to do is start linking some of these pages together so to do that I'm going to use the slice tool so I'm going to draw on some rectangles in fact, I'm just going to draw one because you can copy and paste them like any other object. So the slice um, defines an area of the screen uh, which is going to, in this case, do something. And they appear as green and they appear in a separate layer at the top of all your other layers called the web layer. So each one, on this, I've selected this, um, there's various things you can do with a slice. And slices are useful for lots of things. Um, Another great thing they're useful for is exporting graphics of a particular um, area rather than having to define that area every time. The slice keeps it you know, defined across, um, across, across your project as you're working on it. But in this case I want to use it as a link. So I've got a link option down here in the properties. Um, I'm going to link the home page. Well, I'm going to link it to the home page because I want that to happen on every page. I'm also going to copy and paste that. Um, I'm going to keep using my keyboard shortcuts. Uh, I'm going to transform that. Uh, it's, it's Apple T. Where is that? Is there Mo modify? 
transform free transform it's a keyboard shortcut i use all the time without even thinking for changing the the dimensions of um, an object you could just type in the dimensions down here so i'm just going to create slices for the rest of those menu items so that slice again wants to go to the home um, page every time so you notice it's added htm and that's because um, when it exports this uh, as a kind of preview it's going to create a bunch of um, html pages basically and so it'll use this as an actual um, a tag to um, to pr provide the link so let me just I'm going to press control T on that again resize it um, I'm going to link that one to uh, animals there we go so there's a scrolling list down here and it'll show you some external sites that might be in your clipboard <laughs> my sites there and it'll show you all the pages and any other pages you may have linked to previously in the document and I was playing around earlier so there's a few that have appeared at the top but the, it, you would just see these are the ones at the bottom as the main um, pages you've created in your page list so let's send that one to animals I'm gonna do control or apple and cv just to copy and paste that one control or apple t to transform it gonna link that one to the accessories page again copy and paste they don't all have to line up perfectly but i can't help myself send that one to food and i haven't created an about us page at the moment but it'll probably just be a text page oh and i've I've saved it. That's another little thing I can't get out of the habit of doing. Um, Control or Apple Command S to save as you go through. Um, I, I tend to save after doing just about anything. And that's just the way I've kind of um, started working with most applications. Okay, so we've linked those pages. And if I now go to the file menu and preview and browser, we have a few options in here. So Chrome is my current default browser. You can also set up um, which browser you want to be your primary and secondary browser. So if you're testing in a couple of different browsers, you can set those um, from there. And you actually have to find the application on the Mac and the PC. Um, I think you have to find the executable file to do the same. But um, you can either preview the current page, which is just the top option, or um, Alt F12, or you can preview in all of the page, all the pages in your default browser. So I'm going to do that and give it a second. Okay, so now we have the home page, and we can see we've got a link over these objects. So, oh look, we haven't got links anymore. Well, that's because we've only got the links on the home page. So I'd have to use the back arrow. So what we want to do now, of course, is put those links into every page. So we need to put it into that um, header symbol that we've created. Now, um, Fireworks has a little annoying um, feature when you do that. So if I select all those by pressing Shift and um, cut them, and now if I double click inside my um, header object, so here I am inside it, and I'll paste them back in. Beautifully, it doesn't put them in the right place. Actually, Fireworks is pretty good at that usually. <laughs> um, it just put things in the same place when you copy and paste, which is quite handy. But I don't know why it didn't at that point. Now, sometimes, oh, it's done it this time. Sometimes it doesn't copy the links for some strange reason. Um, but this time it has, so we're fortunate. So that's good. We've now got all of the links inside our header. So when we preview our pages again, I mean, the, option, the reason we've got two options to preview the page or the preview all the pages is because this does start getting a bit slower. The more pages you create with the more complexity, you know, it's rendering out a lot of um, images all cut up and um, HTML links, etc. So the preview current page um, can be handy. It might actually be doing a lot of work creating this, um, the grid, which we can turn off anyway in a few minutes. So now, okay, we've got the links inside the header. So we've got links to all the pages and back to the home page. So that's great. 
So for a simple wireframe, that's the basics of what you need really. You need to be able to link around the wireframes to get to page to page in a, in a, a realistic navigation um, sense. Especially the main menu, you might want to link through some of the uh, lower links as well. You possibly, possibly put um, information through to um, smaller um, terms and conditions pages, that kind of thing, just to show how that's all going to work. Um, now, the fireworks will do a lot more in terms of um, user in interaction design. Um, I'm going to do more of that when we come to prototype uh, later on because it's a bit more complex. And I'm just going to show you quickly a couple of things you can uh, make it do. Actually, first of all, let's turn off the. Actually, let's open it first. Uh, open recent. So there's another file here. I've just added a couple of simple interactions too. Let me turn off the layer of grid. There we go. And preview that. I could have done just preview the page actually, but let's just wait for it to render that out. Okay, so there's one thing you can do. You can add uh, menus very simply, um, including a, a different. I think they'll do multiple layers of menus, and that's a very simple behavior you can add. But we can also add other types of um, you know, mega menus and things, which we'll, we'll, we'll show in a later example. You can also do um, simple interactions, like I've mocked up how the carousel might show different um, deals. Um, and a lot of that we'll get onto, as I say, later on. But you, know, you can really make this prototype start to look and feel how it's all going to work. So that's great. That's that's what we're going to cover this week. Next week, I'm going to start actually using some of the design tools. So we'll, we'll forget all this interactive business um, and start building up um, a mood board, basically. We'll put in some ideas from around the place and start designing little elements um, and look at some of the design tools and, and how the whole project is going to start pulling, pulling together. Okay, thank you very much.